Not too long ago my friends got me into playing Civilization 5 and it's the first Grand Strat game that I've ever played so I've asked myself the same question that you are probably asking yourselves right now is how do I make a Grand Strategy game a thrilling experience? So there's two things that I know are fun which is memes and Dark Souls so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so the way we're gonna achieve this is I'm only gonna play against the most aggressive civs and also ov obviously on the difficulty setting deity because we are no casuals up in here. <laughs> there is no way that I'm gonna survive 100 turns, so we are going to play as Gandhi and our goal will be to launch one nuke at one town and then we'll call it a good game. To make this even harder, because we know a hard game equals a fun game, we are only going to take the most aggressive civs there are, so I'm going to play against Assyria, Mongolia, the Aztecs, the Zulus and the Celts, which are arguably the most aggressive civilizations and will wage a war against you for no reason at all. So of course it starts out fine, everything is kind of up in their own business, I'm exploring the entire map, daily is ever growing and the economy is kind of like, it, it, it's working, okay? We're all kind of ignoring each other, but no one is declaring war on anyone, so that's great, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> So I'm really happy but that never lasts long since he quickly turns around and abuses our intimate friendship to declare war on the Zulus and makes me participate in it. So I agree of course because we are friends but also because I think if the conflict is on the other side of the map I'm relatively safe and also it will take me forever to build units let alone move them across the entire continent so I'm thinking my participation in this war will be solely moral support. Adding to that I'm playing as Gandhi so I can't do anything violent because I'm Gandhi and I don't do violence except for nukes. So what I'm gonna do is just move a couple of scouts around behind Big Daddy Khan's army to just stay out of the conflict but also participate but also not participate. That's my strategy. When we declared war I got denounced by Boudicca really quick which is probably because she's just jealous that I get to get the ride on the war horse. So while Mongolia completely demolishes all Zulu settlements I just stand in the background and nod in quiet agreement. It doesn't take long before I get a peace offer and I generously accept because I'm Gandhi and I don't condone war. While I'm really glad I got to deflate this conflict, out of absolutely nowhere, Montezuma declares war on me. For no reason, absolutely no reason. It's just he just didn't like the way I looked apparently. What makes this even worse is that the Aztecs are my direct neighbor and they will probably be there in two turns only and absolutely obliterate my city because I didn't have the means to fortify it yet. And I'm only having one city because the Indian civilization thrives on having one overpopulated city instead of having multiple settlements with fewer population. I don't know about the political implications of that but that's Sid Meier's fault and not mine. So the two turns are over and Montezuma is right at my gate so I politely ask my best friend if he wants to wage the war with me and he says no. Very polite while doing so but still I'm going to be dead in five turns now. So in a last ditch effort to somehow survive all of this I ask all other participants if they want to wage the war against the Aztecs with me but they all decline politely but they decline so my doom is settled. So now I get to watch daily being burned down to ashes by a million blood hungry Aztecs that probably did human sacrifice before this. And in just under 90 turns the Indian civilization has gone to waste. Well, so you see, I don't have a whole lot of expertise in this game, but this definitely was a thrilling playthrough, so we achieved our goal. 